Welcome to To Enable Help. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to set up organizational administrators and how to set up uh, mentors for training in your organization. As you'll notice, uh, in my organizations, I'm actually a member of several organizations and I've been set up as an organizational administrator. So if you're running a school, and, and I'm specifically going to focus on schools, but it's similar for other organizations. Once we register your school on the platform, the person who, who made the application will be set up as the organizational administrator. So they need to obviously be a member of the, of the platform. And uh, when, we cr when we create the organization, we will then set them up as the organizational, admin, as the organize, organizational administrator. So what they will do, and um, I just need to mirror what I'm doing, is they will select the supervisor menu and they will go to organizations and um, they will have to select the organization which they are an administrator of so they will um, it actually opens up a fine screen so you hit find <coughs> and it'll bring up the name of your organization you select it and it brings you through to the organizational screen you've seen this in previous videos so i'm not going to go through it and you'll notice here um, in the users that there are two users uh, and here's michael matthews and i am the organizational admin for this for this organization and because I'm the organizational administrator I can set up other organizational administrators. So the first thing is to make any changes in the space is you need to be in an edit mode and you'll notice here it then brings up this row click here to add a new row. So as we've mentioned before uh, users join your organization um, generally well in uh, one of two ways they either go my organizations and join but if you're a school they won't be able to do that if you're a school the way they join your school is they go my account and they register they say that they go to your school and the moment they say they go to your school their name will be appended in the list of users and you can then as an organizational administrator go through and decide which of those people are organizational admins and which of them are going to be uh, mentors the organizational admin gives them access to this full menu and they can do a whole lot more with this menu and the mentor gives them access to the mentorship uh, unit so I will show you what the mentorship unit is if you go home it comes up with my mentorships and um, if you give it a moment to load what it'll do is up here it'll load all the subjects that are available on the platform and which organization is is managing those th that content so uh, if you log in you'll probably only see those items that are, are public and um, to become a, a mentor you would choose the subject and you would choose the grade and you need again need to be in the edit mode and you click on the mentor button and it will then add that subject and that grade to the list of sub learning areas that you mentor. So these are things that I'm obviously currently mentoring and you'll notice music theory grade one. Here are the four schools or the four organizations that I am uh, mentoring. Um, and what I mean by that is if I go to the organizations in those four organizations, this box has been ticked. So the moment you tick this box for a user, when they go to my mentorships, it's going to add your organization to as one of the organizations in the list of organizations that they can mentor for that learning area and grade. But what they have to do also is they have to then, the user then agrees that they will mentor that school or that organization. And if they agree to, to, to mentoring that school and organization, it then brings up a whole bunch of reporting functionality and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Casterbridge as an example I've, I'm mentoring Casterbridge and I'm mentoring all users but what I could in fact do is not mentor all users and I could then select from this list of users which users I want to mentor so for instance if this was grade 10 accounting I could select the children at in, in this organization who are in my class and I could moderate just the children in my class okay and if there was a second accounting class the other teacher could moderate those the children in her class 
Alternatively, I can say I want to moderate all users who go to Casterbridge Music Development Academy who enroll in Music Theory Grade 1. So that is, is some of the functionality that is built around uh, this mentoring um, module. And then once you've chosen who you are mentoring and the fact that you've agreed to mentor that organization, you then get access to several reports. At this level, you can view all the test results of the of uh, the students that you are mentoring. You can view an analytical report, and an analytical report is a report of every question answered by all the students that you are mentoring, ordered by the question that has got that they have got wrong the most down to the question that they've got wrong the least. So that actually acts as a tool for you to focus your teaching. So you could, at a press of a button, work out precisely what the children that you are mentoring do not understand. And then this is uh, to actually give you a printout of the tests and what answers each one of the students has given for each one of the questions in, in that learning area. So that is what it means when you come to my organization as an organizational administrator to tick this box. The moment you tick that box, you're giving somebody access to all of that information. Organizational admin, by ticking this box, gives them access to this menu, which gives them access again to this module, which could allow them to create other organizational administrators, or they could add other people to the organization, exactly the same way that I'm doing this uh, member and I'm making a mentor. So that is what making somebody an organizational administrator to that's some of the permission they have and that is what that that checkbox allows, this checkbox allows the editing. So I'm just going to delete Uggy from my list and I'm going to save that because that will then save any changes. And while it is saving, the other thing that you need to do as the organizational administrator, which I think I mentioned earlier, is that you need to come and complete the terms and conditions and enrollment instructions. That for anyone who does join your organization, that that's what they agree to when they join your organization. So, um, and that is done in this space. Uh, the other thing is obviously completing your postal and physical addresses and email address and registration number. So when you go to my mentorships and you start running the report, as you saw here, it starts to bring up the correct details for your report that when it prints it out, you can actually have the correct information on, on your reports. So um, the role of an organization administrator is obviously very important and, um, and you can provide and manage um, rights and uh, roles within your organization. And I hope that uh, answers most of your questions. Thank you.